In this lesson, we're gonna sh I'm going to show you how to make tint, shade, and tone. Um, I'm going to talk about each one of them a little further, but I'm going to start with tint. Tint is basically adding a particular color to another color, and that color is white. So if you ever want to make a tint, you add white to that particular color. And here, the color that I'm using for this particular lesson is red and I'm going to paint it in my first square. I have about five squares. I could do more squares just to show a variation. It's kind of like a um, value scale. If you ever done a value scale when you're drawing, uh, you have your dark ebony pencil drawn at the top and then you just have a gradual change of the uh, different shades of uh, pencil tones uh, from light to darkness or darkness to lightness. This is kind of the same thing but we're just doing it with paint. And here again, tint is basic color plus white and you get a um, tint. Now as you can see I already added a little white to my second square and you see that there's a, a, a little bit lighter uh, tint than the uh, first coat or the, the the paint that was straight came from the tube came straight out of the tube excuse me. And each square is going to get lighter and lighter and my goal is to try to get it as close as to white as possible. Um, I don't do it that well as I would like in this particular video, but you get the idea. And you see my third square is a little bit lighter than my second square. And you may be asking why do I need to know this or what's the particular point of this lesson. When you're painting you need to know how to get certain colors. And one way is by having different assignments like this to kind of help you especially if, like I can see already now that if I was wanting to paint a rose I need to know kinda how to get certain different values of red especially with cadmium so this is a good lesson just to kinda understand paint just get a better idea here I'm on my fourth square so you can see it's a little bit lighter than my third square and again I'm trying to get the closest white as possible just a little hint of red in my last square let's see how I do Okay, it's pretty much pink, you know, by most <laughs> artists with a particular color, or most anybody would pretty much call this color pink. But again, it's just basically red with a little white, with a lot of white, so to speak. If I could, I had I didn't do that, but I, I would draw another um, square to add to that to make it a little bit more lighter. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on to shade. Here I'm going to start with my uh, first square adding red. Still going to use red. I'm going to use red throughout all three um, columns. I'm using a brush for this uh, lesson. I'm not using a palette knife. I just want you to understand um, the main point, which is how to get certain colors. And I consider this lesson fa as phase two. I know on the first lesson we talked about the color wheel, how to get basic colors, primary, secondary, and intermediate colors. On this one, I just want to get you to see how you, what you can do with just one color. And uh, with shade, you add black to this um, to get a shade. Black to a color to get a shade. You can see that it's a little bit darker. Both the tint and the shade dulls the um, color. It's not as intense as you say as the paint coming straight out of a tube. So just keep that in mind when you do add white or black to your uh, to your uh, color, whether that's a primary color, secondary color, or a um, intermediate color. The white and the black does 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 the uh, the intensity of the color. The third one's a little bit dark. A lot darker than the second one, excuse me. And that's pretty much what I'm trying to go for anyway, so. And this one's definitely dark, definitely dark. I know I don't show my palette in this particular video, but you can get the idea. I mean, I'm definitely adding more black to my um, red. You know, on my last square, I want to try to get as close to as black as possible. but I still want you to be able to see the red and the black
Now, when I'm painting a shadow on a particular object, say for instance, since we're using red, if I was painting a, a shadow on a red apple, um, I wouldn't use black because it'll dull the color. I would definitely use the complementary color. Whenever you're doing a shadow for a color on a color, um, say an apple, for instance, I would use the complementary color. The complementary color would be green for the um, for the red. I'm going to explain a little bit of that more in a, um, the next lesson. All right, we're going to go home, go ahead and move on to tone. I'm going to start with my first um, square. And I'm going to move my way down just like I did with the other two columns with the tint in the shade. And basically, tone is basically adding color to, with the gray, and you get a tone. So you have tint, white, shade equals black, and tone equals um, gray. To me, when you add um, gray to a particular color, it kind of, um, not just make it dull, but if this makes any sense, it makes the color look real flat. Um, only word I can think of is it's kind of look dry, it's not as rich as um, the other um, colors or um, when painted within the, um, the colors that you see in the tint or the shade column. Um, you can see to me, it makes the color just a little bit, I don't know why I want to use this word, more dry, more flat, so to speak. It definitely does the uh, intensity of the color for sure, but it's almost at another uh, quality to it. Kind of look iridescent too as, as I look at it. As you can see the third, fourth columns, I mean excuse me, the fourth square, um, again almost close to gray. It almost looked gray, but you can still see the red. And on my last color, I, I want to just have just a little red in it and mostly gray, so you'll be able to see that in this, on this last square in the column. Now, if you just glance at this, it almost looks just gray, regular gray. But again, if you look closely, you can see the red in it. And that's pretty much it for the tone. So, this kind of gives you an idea of uh, how to manipulate color and how to get certain colors that you want. Um, thanks for watching. Again, 